experiment with those. Make sure you still have your three original shapes. And we're going to take a look at this align panel. So of course, our align panel allows us to align the objects. Um, and you'll notice there are little visual diagrams of it. The first button, of course, is going to align everything to the left edge. So in this case, if I select all three objects and click the first align button, all objects align to the furthest left edge. So because my circle is farthest to the left, the other two shapes move in that direction. If I click on the next point, that's horizontal align center. So it's going to move all of them so that the centers of each shape is in alignment. The third button is align right. So now everything is going to align to the furthest right object. Then I've got vertical align top. So all objects will align to the topmost object. Then I've got vertical align center. And lastly, vertical align bottom, which means all objects will align to the bottom most element. Now I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to drag it beneath the other two objects, not underneath them, but below them. And you'll notice once I get to a certain position, all of a sudden these little double pink arrows appear over the right hand side. And so what those double arrows are telling me is that there's an equal amount of space between the top of one object and the bottom of another object. And now there's an equal space amongst all objects. So if I was to release my mouse, there's a visually, and physically, the exact same amount of space between the bottom of the star to the top of the rectangle, as well as the bottom of the rectangle to the top of that circle. Now, in some cases, I might want to adjust the spacing. So I'm going to move one object closer to the other. With all three of them still selected, I'm going to go to this Distribute Objects section in the Align panel. And the very first button is Vertical Distribute Top. So what it does is it tries to add equal amount of space, not in between them equally, but an equal amount of space with the top distribution. The next one is distribute based on vertical centers. Then I've got vertical bottoms. And then, of course, I've got my horizontal distribution to the left, centers, and then right. Now, if I am wanting an equal amount of space between the objects, and I have more than just three, so obviously moving one and trying to look for those little pink indicators is probably not going to be enough. What I can take advantage is the last two objects. The first one is called distribute spacing and it's vertical distribution. So when I click on that button, it now notice it gives me an equal amount of space between all the objects. The next button is, is horizontal distribute spacing. Then on the far right hand side, you'll also see there's an align too. So I can actually align these elements based on a key item. And if you click on that drop down, you have three different options. You can align it to the selection. That means it's taking all three of these in um, consideration when it deals with the spacing. If I go to align to key object, now that means I can click on one of the three objects. Notice I get a darker blue border to appear. 
And now it's going to align based on that specific object. You'll also notice that it activates this field right here, which has a value of zero. But when I start manipulating that number, and then I choose one of the spacing options, it will adjust spacing using this as the key object. And then of course, the last option is the align to the art mode. So notice now when I click on the vertical distribute space, it moves whatever the top object is all the way to the top of the page, the bottom object all the way to the bottom of the page, and then adjust the spacing in between any objects that are in between it. 